I think very few people actually understand how a hospital runs. I think patients don't necessarily understand all the wheels that turn behind the scenes to get them where they need to go. Every bit in the health system is a step in the chain. Many of our specialties as a tertiary hospital have quite specific requirements. If you've had a heart attack then we would want you to be in a bed on our cardiac ward. If you're a general medical patient then we wouldn't want to place you unnecessarily onto a surgical ward. We often have congestion in the hospital and the emergency department and what we were interested in is working out how many beds would be required for each specialty to be able to get the right patient to the right bed in the right time. We worked with the team at CSIRO on coming up with a simulation model that would demonstrate the number of beds that were required. We have to have ethics approval to do work like this in the hospital and that's quite a complicated process and they just ran through it. They really brought a skill to our problems that we don't actually have and we're really able to look at our problems in new ways. Rather than allocating bed numbers on um, historical information or custom and practice or just a gut feel, we actually have the science around the number of beds that we require. That's been an enormous uh, benefit, not only for the patients, but in the way we run the hospital.